Uh, hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an On The Fly review for you. Today I'm talking about Oppenheimer, released last weekend, directed by Christopher Nolan, starring Killian Murphy, Emily Blunt, Florence Pugh, Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., and Gary Oldman, plus many, many, many people. I sat down and tried to figure out who all the actors I was going to mention, I had like 20 fuckers. I'm going to try to get this uh, video quickly and quietly, it's early in the morning, and I don't want to wake up the whole house, plus my goddamn stand is broken, so i got to hold my phone. Uh, this is, of course, based on the true story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, a physicist who was the head of the Manhattan Project. Now, if you don't know, the Manhattan Project was a three-year endeavor where they moved a bunch of scientists and their families into this makeshift town in the American Western Desert, and they spent years out there trying to harness and perfect the nuclear bomb and this movie is about the that not only that experience that that whole endeavor but it's also about the moral implications the moral um uh uh compromises uh it's it's about the existential crisis to fear but most importantly is about the obsession and even madness that overtook oppenheimer and his desperation to beat the nazis to the bomb um this is phenomenal this is brilliant motion picture filmmaking i was reminded of spielberg and coppola and kubrick while watching this film but at its true heart it is all no one I still to this day, till we'll say that Inception is his essential film. It is the ultimate Christopher Nolan film. But Dunkirk was his masterpiece, and dare I say he stopped himself again here. Oppenheimer is a must-see motion picture, and it is just a showing time of the now irrelevance, if not decay. Uh, that once was the Academy Awards, that now with their Freedom Riders and their, you know, their uh, minority quotas, it is absurd that the clearly, obviously, best motion picture of the year so far, hands down, is not eligible for best picture because there's just not enough, you know, there's not enough checks made, you know. They're trying too hard to make a good movie. And Killian Murphy... Who go, who's gone from an actor I've always liked, though he's phenomenal in 28 Days Later, um, goes from perpetual supporting actor to what a fucking leading man in this. A real movie star performance, performance of the ages. Always with that that spark of unsettlingness. Always a hint, a twinkle of madness in his eye all throughout the film. And I also want to really praise Josh Hartnett in this. Uh, not a performance I ever thought of. He really comes off as this man of the earth, but also man of science, well-rounded, almost macho type, 20th century man. He's really fucking good in it. I love this movie. I thought this was a great fucking movie. Highly recommended. And with its three-hour runtime, it barely stops to take a breath. Phenomenal film. Must be seen. Five stars, obviously. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.